So we were just waiting. And it's leaking. Yeah, it was always leaking, e- even after they... Well, now, who put the skylight in? And have they been back to fix it? Well, that's... So they... We, we told them, hey, like, you know, uh, we're getting a lot of water coming through there. Mm-hmm. And they brought someone in, but the, the follow-up job didn't remedy the actual situation. So... So have they given up or have you given up? So I'm kind of thinking, like, you know, are these guys, like... Um, what? Well, from a warranty uh, standpoint, Jack, if you don't mind me asking, yeah, they like, should come back and fix it under their warranty. I mean, uh, but yeah, but like from what I was, uh, the actual uh, so basically, Can we? Uh, like you know, uh, contract out other businesses to do their job. Yeah, uh, that's all right, but it still comes under the umbrella of because they yeah. you pay, you don't yeah. pay the other people, you pay Can we? correct, correct, because you pay them. They are responsible to you. you. You've got no relationship with uh, the Skylight install or anybody. The only relationship you've got is with... Okay, right? yeah. So, they have given you a quote to replace the roof, yeah. put a new Skylight in. They've done that. There's a fault in the Skylight. So, you don't have to go back to whoever put the Skylight in. You've got to go back to... Come say, listen. Your job was to put a new roof on, put a new skylight on, the skylight's leaking, can you come and fix it? And yeah. that warranty. Yeah, but they, the, the people that came back, they did something, but like, you know, it didn't... And actually, it still leaked? Yeah. And did you go back to them and say, listen, it doesn't work, can you come back again? Well, I, we went back to... Come in. And they were saying, um, their response was to the fact of, uh, hey, like, you know, we, we've done as much as we could. Well, the responsibility is still with... Come in. Okay. You can say, all right. I'm going to cut my losses, right? And I'm going to forget about it and get someone like myself or someone else who knows, who knows what they're doing to fix it. Okay. Okay, which means that you've paid commit. Okay, you kind of pay twice. If you're happy yeah. to do that, then uh, you, you, you pay a new guy again to fix it, right? And it's got nothing to do with commit because they've given up, they can't fix it. Um, and if you keep hassling them to come and fix it, they'll, they'll say, mate, we can't fix it. That, you know, that, essentially, that's, that's, that's what the messaging that we're getting. So they said, we can't fix it. You've got to just let it leak. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's the point now where we, we don't want to, like, you know, get, um, so yeah. if they're not going to do it, so it seems like we're just going to have to get someone else to come in and do it. Okay. It's a sad situation because, you know, if it was our roof, we'll come back and, We'll fix it because we know how to fix it. I don't know why they can't fix it. When we first called, they brought in someone else, like, yes. you know, uh, another tradesman right. to come in. Like, whatever they did, didn't obviously fix it. When quite large downpours, yes. we're People getting leak. water. And yeah, you've got to put buckets in there to catch the water. Yeah. A lot of water. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, it's not excessive, but, yeah. like, you know, it's still a, a, a wet patch. What's a wet patch? Well, what, what is an issue? That I don't you... know. Oh, okay. I'll have a look at it and I'll come up with a solution. We can fix it. We fix these things all the time. Like last winter was yes. quite dry, right? Okay, yeah. But like you know, probably six months after they like left, yes, that's when we noticed like okay, you know, yeah. the the, uh, the water. So yeah. they came back, did, did whatever. But uh, I guess their saving grace was it was actually a quite a dry period. Yes. So we didn't <laughs> like you know unfortunately understand the full extent of the problem until we've had these larger downpours. Okay, but still they put a new roof on, a new skylight on. Six months after they did that, when it rained heavy, it leaked. So they should have come back and fixed it so that it wouldn't ever leak again. Yeah, but the problem is you won't know whether they fixed it until there's a heavy downpour. And, like, you know, we, we didn't really... We had quite a dry period. Okay. Like, yeah. that's why, like, you know, it wasn't until an extended period of time when there was an actual downpour that, hey, we realised, hey, this problem hasn't been resolved yet. Correct, yeah. So you should still go back to them and say, listen, it still hasn't been resolved. But my understanding is that they've come back to you and they've gone, we don't know how to fix it. Um, yeah, correct. We, the, the they, second we time are, we're not responsible for it anymore. Yeah. Quite sad. But, uh, I'll have a look and we'll see what we can do to fix it. What's happening to that skylight? So, that's, yeah, that's, that's the, the, the problem for us. Like, we don't know. Given that, like, you know, they actually repaired, like, you know, this whole section um, mm-hmm. From the uh, from the extension onwards, yes. which is this is the extension yep. component. Jack. So that's still part of their roof, but they didn't they, they didn't actually replace this skylight, did they? They they did. Yeah, they also replaced the skylight. So it's a brand new skylight. Correct. And it's leaking. 
Yeah, always. Yeah, that water buildup is is the, uh, is from the after post the, yeah, that post, the re- post the repair. Because like if it was like that, we would have replaced that as part of the yeah. original work. Yes. Jack, what's the normal warranty period for like you know, these jobs anyway? We have and a seven year warranty. It just depends on what they've got on their quote. So you should read the quote and they'll give you what their warranty is. Right? Uh, I'm sure it's still within the warranty period because yes. it was less than two years. Right. Like, yeah. you know, um, yeah, we normally give a seven year warranty. Okay. All right. Some people only give a six month warranty. Right? And I'm, I'm thinking that's ridiculous because, you know, it, it may not rain in six months. Yeah, exactly. And nothing to test it, right? But, the, you know, we are confident in our work. We say we give you a seven year warranty, right? And if it leaks uh, in that time frame, we'll come and fix it. That uh, invoice that we got, the yeah. coverage was like, you know, uh, well, it's a lengthy one. Yes. So uh, um, you would still be under that. Um, I would think so, yeah. But, you know, it's gotten to the point where like we're not getting that response from them, genuine response from okay. them to come in and, and do their uh, do their part on this uh, remediation. That, okay. Like, do we keep persisting or like, you know, how else are you going to, unless you take it to end cattle or something, uh, somewhere. Yeah, which means you're gonna. It's gonna mean it's gonna cost you more in time and money and all yeah. that, and and you may still not get it resolved, right? Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, in situations like this, you will have to go. Well, we chose the wrong roofer. We need yeah, someone who uh, yeah. who knows what they're doing and get it get it fixed. And we know we're gonna pay more money for it, but at least we'll get it fixed, and we don't have to like you know worry about it and stress about it because you know stress is not good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. I uh, will have a look and we'll see uh, what's wrong with it and I'll come up with a solution to fix it. And then you can go and either go with us to fix it or try to go back to Greece again. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's, uh, I kind of feel like, you know, uh, these guys, like, they're not competent. The reason why it's been so protracted is because of the fact that when they came back and fixed it, it wasn't until there was, there was, uh, until there was a decent downfall, which yeah. was quite after an extended period of time. Yeah, which showed that their repair didn't work. Yeah, exactly. Because you can see now, like, there's significant water damage yes. to the point that we're, we're going to have to replace that. Uh, yeah, all, all that lining, yes. Yeah, mm. so, you know, this isn't what we wanted, uh, what we expected from that. Because, um, like, they, they went up there, looked at the metal, now that it was rusty, and, and we thought, okay. Yes. No, we don't want to like you know create further damage on mm. the rest of the place. Let's and that was like something like twenty seven, twenty eight thousand job dollar job to put a new roof and two new skylights. In. Yeah, okay. So it wasn't a like it wasn't a, a cheap a, job. A band aid job. Yeah. 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 So you paid for a proper job. You paid good money, and I would say you should expect a good product. But uh, like it looks like they're giving you a bad product, and they don't want to honor their product. Well, that's that's why, like you know, like I said to you, like you know, you, um, if you don't trust someone, yeah. Um, the question is, how do you know you're going to trust someone anyway? Because how did you find? Why did you choose? Referral. Referral from from friends, something like yeah. that. Oh, they people, people that people okay. that uh, use them, so you can yeah. only go by. Like, yeah, of you know, course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. Their own experiences. Okay. And and you you found me. So how did you find me? Find you. Yeah. You know, like I was. Like um, I was on my uh, on YouTube and yes. and there was um, a clip on on YouTube as to like you know um, gypsy um, oh gypsy roofers whatever yeah gypsy yeah. roofers right and like you know the way I see it is like you know because I'm I'm in tax right yeah. and like you know for someone to call out like shoddy workmanship yes I find that it's very ballsy okay. No, no, yeah, because yeah. like, you know, the fact that like, you know, yeah, and that, that's, I, I can appreciate and respect that. Right. They should be called out. Yeah, know? exactly. They, they, they shouldn't be around anymore because, you know, if you have uh, people around who uh, do bad work, they should be uh, put out of business. And yeah. They shouldn't be in the industry that, that's, anymore. That's my very belief as well. So. All right. Unfortunately, the, the roofing industry and the billing industry, we've got some bad that actors. Was, yeah. That wasn't bad actors. Yeah. All right. I'll let me see what I can do. And I'll grab my ladder, get up on the roof, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay.